Ted Sambat used patience and compassion to unlock the secrets of the killing fields. Under Pol Pot's rule in the 1970s, the Khmer Rouge murdered as many as two million Cambodians, including Sambat's mother, father, and brother. That loss sent the journalist on a 10-year journey, not for revenge, but to set the historical record straight. Sambat is widely regarded as one of the country's best investigative reporters. His stories for the Phnom Penh Post have been printed all over the world. Sambat sold his land to finance his search for former members of the Khmer Rouge, leaving his family on the weekends to find them. I have to spend everything from my family. Uh, otherwise, I think that the Khmer Rouge history, this secret regime would be keep untold. During his 10-year quest, he sought to understand why the Khmer Rouge destroyed so many lives. Under Pol Pot's orders, cities were emptied and people were put to work in camps in the countryside. A third of Cambodia's population was wiped out. What Sambat recorded with his camcorder would shed light on this dark chapter in history in the critically acclaimed documentary, Enemies of the People. Pol Pot had already died, but Sambat tracked down his right-hand man. Noon Chia, known as Brother Number Two, did not want to talk. Sambat kept coming back, befriending the old man without revealing his own personal history. Sambat found two other members of the Khmer Rouge who were more open. They talked about taking people's lives. When I know one killer, he said, I asked him, who are another group or another people who are in your group? He tracked down a former Khmer Rouge district chief known as Sister M, who ordered the deaths of people she identified as traitors. As he pieced together the history, Sambat kept returning to Nunchia, sharing meals and getting to know his family. Slowly, the old man started to tell his story. He told Sambat that Paul Pot wanted to eliminate anyone who didn't want to join the revolution. Once Noon Chia finished telling his story, seven years after they first met, Sambat revealed that the Khmer Rouge destroyed his own family. Noon Chia was arrested at his home in 2007 and now faces charges for war crimes and crimes against humanity. He remains in detention. But Sambat somehow found compassion for those responsible for one of the worst genocides in modern history. He could see the human side of the killers. Uh, in their heart, they regret what they had done, but they told me that they didn't want to do it. And he forgave Noon Chia. I said gratitude to Noon Chia. The reason is that if, not, if Noon Chia did not tell the truth, Khmeru history finished. Prosecutors now plan to use Sambat's documentary, Enemies of the People, as evidence. Tet Sambat is on medical leave from the Phnom Penh Post, regaining his strength after working tirelessly on his documentary. And he's working on a second film about the killing fields. I am very happy that uh, I have to have all this stuff and for the gen new generation and then also for the world to learn about the Khmer Rouge.